There are those two guys. What are they famous for? Huh. While other restaurant drive-ins have evaporated with time, Sonic has managed to stick around. The blast from the past is known for its marketing and nostalgic setup. It has been surveyed in close to 3,500 locations across 47 U.S. states. The American drive-in fast food restaurant chain follows Sonic's service, but despite its colorful history, there are many interesting facets of the drive-in that demand a top 10. So you grab your spot in the shade and wait for the next car hop while we sip on the top 10 untold truths about Sonic. Can I get an amen. Amen. Beautiful. Sonic's quest for identity. You know, those dogs at Sonic, so lucky. Tell me about it. The drive-in's arrangement is as much unique in today's times as its interesting history. Founded by Troy Smith in the 1950s, the American drive-in was originally a root beer stand. Yes, that's right. It established base in Oklahoma, and at the time, Smith was also dabbling into many steakhouses and diners next to the stand. As soon as the guy found out about the existence of an intercom system at a restaurant, he took the opportunity to give an upgrade to his stand with a car-to-kitchen intercom system as well. And then uh, you can put it in a brown paper bag and come put it in my hand because I'm ready to eat. Turns out the stand was garnering more profits than his other restaurants, because of which Smith decided to give all his attention to the stand itself, shutting doors to other restaurants in the process. At the time, the name of the stand was Top Hat, and Smith wanted to keep it that way during its expansion. He found out that the name was trademarked, and because of that, he had to come up with something else. Take your hat off. Excuse me? They don't sell hot dogs here. Hence, Sonic, as it matched with their slogan, service with the speed of sound. Sure, keeping the name you love is what you want, and losing it to someone else is a bummer. But hey, Sonic sounds cool too, and the chain has made a niche for itself faster than a certain hedgehog with speed can spell his name. Since its inception and growth, we all are now familiar with the layout of the Sonic chain. In case you want to visit the massive base of the restaurant, Oklahoma City is the way to go. It comes complete with drive-in and dine-in facilities and is a sight to behold. You know what else is a sight to behold? Sonic! Our videos! So hit that subscribe button and tap that bell to join our notification squad so you never miss out. Meals on Wheels at Sonic. My favorite thing about being a car hop is meeting all the kinds of people that you meet. When we go by a Sonic, we can come across car hops whizzing by, serving meals, and doing it with a smile. Car hopping adds to the ambient setting of the chain and sets it apart from other restaurants in that context. It is impressive how the skaters balance a tray of burgers, slushies, and snacks, all while avoiding obstacles in their path. Also, car hops' skating endeavors depend on the Sonic location. In some, there's a special skate training, while in others, you are expected to hop on those wheels as if they were a part of your feet. With the intercom system and your meals served on wheels, it seems Sonic follows the speediness aspect of its name quite seriously. In fact, Car Hop is part of the identity of what the chain stands for, which is fast service. The skills of Car Hops are so impeccable that Sonic has partnered with Dr. Pepper and given opportunities to skaters to take part in a competition held every year. The prize money is that of $1,500 and an all-expense-paid trip to the annual Sonic National Convention. These Car Hops sure have serious speed underneath their wheels and a whole lot of skill. Also, the chain is on a hiring spree every now and then for potential car hops to become part of their restaurants. So in case you have a flair for serving with style, balance, coordination, strong memorization skills, and are in need of a job, I really like to sleep and I like Nintendo. Time to fill up those application forms as you're the ideal candidate. Who would have thought he'd become a hero by doing what he does best? Rise of the Sonic Drinks. Whoa, that's good squishy. Sonic's drive-in doesn't just give you a car hopper service and the usual fast food items you usually find at other chains. It specializes in drinks as well, and boy, those drinks' sole purpose is not just to chug all those burgers down. They are a force to be reckoned with. You may think of them as the usual pops you order at a McDonald's or a KFC to give yourself a breather from your food indulgences, but that's where Sonic proves you wrong. When it comes to customizing drinks and being creative, they take it to the next level. Drinks like frozen lemonades, iced tea, and pops are part of the menu, but they occupy a small space on it, compared to the vast library of drinks at the chain's disposal. Heck, whatever drink you grab, you can be creative and add different flavors to it. Real fruit can be mixed in with lemonades or a slushie loaded with candy. The restaurant serves more than 1.5 million drinks and boasts hundreds of thousands of combos, and that just shows how many drinks can be concocted. With so many options on the menu, it's easy to get overwhelmed. Worry not, as you can always ask a car hop for recommendations, as they are the ones who experiment with flavors 
neighbors and add to the growing list. <laughs> Pricey Sonic Wheels. So, how much is TJ paying you? Because I'll double it. Ever thought of becoming a car hopper and wanting to exhibit your skills on wheels while making customers happy? Before you do that, you have to keep in mind that you'll have to purchase your own skates. What? What the? Sonic doesn't just give them to you. Attached to the branded skates is a $100 price tag, and it doesn't end there. You will be constantly moving about, and the imminent wear and tear of the skates demand repairs. Throw in some extra cash for toe stop replacements and wheels. Once you own your shiny pair of skates, you might undergo some training because you're expected to have some skills. The life of a car hopper goes through trials and tribulations when it comes to wages as well. Some locations pay minimum wage, while others are below the minimum, and it all comes down to tips. So there you go. If you plan on becoming one, you'll know that there will be some investment required towards those fancy skates. After all, with great speed comes a steep price. Generally, car hops are considered tipped staff because of the wage, which means you're encouraged to throw in a buck or two. So if a car hop speeds up to you with service and a smile, make sure to give them a nice tip for all their acrobatics and send them back home with more than they might usually get at the end of a shift. Speaking of which, when are you going to find a nice girl, TJ? I dated tons of girls. Name one. Son Sonic cares about more than just hedgehogs. Oh, little hedgehog, why do you run? In 2010, Sonic Drive-In established an animal welfare policy. At the time, chains like McDonald's were behind on that front. The ingredients involved in the fast food business are usually not considered humane, which is why the chain took a step to accept cage-free eggs and pork from suppliers that don't keep pigs in gestation crates. In fact, they are so persistent towards accepting humanely sourced ingredients that in 2016, they established goals specifically tailored to the animal welfare policy all across their 3,500 chains in the U.S. Delicious. With a focused commitment towards implementing such a policy, the restaurant claims to eradicate pork obtained from suppliers using gestation crates by 2022. They also plan to use 100% cage-free eggs by 2025. Besides these changes, the chain has also done some transformation to the dairy product department. Prior to 2010, milkshakes and frozen treats were made using a non-ice cream substitute. The preparation process for their dairy products has been converted, and pure ice cream items have taken up charge. I drink your milkshake instead of low-fat dairy products. With the urgency made by Sonic to humanize the process and make alterations with other food items, consumers can rest easy when they visit the restaurant. This is a major step towards achieving goals that benefit the welfare of animals, and hopefully soon, all restaurant chains will follow suit. Mom, can we have some chicken nuggets? Oh dear, that's put Sarah in a spin. Only the rich and the worthy for Sonic. Love it! Oh man, can I get it on, man? No! Want to purchase your very own franchise? Do you have what it takes to own one? Are your pockets deep enough, or are they riddled with holes before you even think of buying one? Because there's a hefty price attached to owning your own Sonic. The franchise fee alone is around $45,000, and that only helps you secure the location. Once you do the deed, you then have to shell out another $860,000 for the startup cost covering land purchase, construction of the restaurant, hiring employees, and sourcing of materials. Price your markets require more from your wallet and can skyrocket to three million. With that much investment, Sonic expects you to have liquid capital of up to half a million dollars and a net worth of one million to begin with. Now that the big numbers are out of the way and your hopes of having all the unlimited drinks and burgers are shattered and buried six feet under, let's sit in our chairs and watch who stands up and takes the leap of faith. We pray that the next guy interested has a speedy recovery when it comes to the bank account. Oh! Sonic has the one ring to rule them all. Have you ever thought why the onion rings at Sonic have a certain sweetness to them? It's because the batter is prepared in vats that have had vanilla in them. With a combination of vanilla soft mix, flour, and cornmeal, the rings have a distinct taste to them. Moreover, the onion rings are organized by hand, and there is an exclusive employee just to slice, batter, and fry the onions. So if you're feeling for something sweet and crispy at the same time, Sonic onion rings mixed in with an essence of vanilla sounds like a good option. Anyways, whatever transpires in the kitchens of Sonic, these combinations in drinks and food sure works for them, and boy, they taste good. Guys, you know who. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I got the VIP box. Sonic at the beach. Keep those actions clear. We'll see you on the beach. 
Sonic opened its doors in the beach locales of Florida. This shook things up for a bit for the chain as it wanted to change its image of just being a drive-in restaurant. With a beachside view and the ocean waves crashing the shores, you can now enjoy a chilled beer with tater tots at at least one of the locations, Sonic Beach. With a patio area and LED 60-inch flat screens decorating the place, what else can you ask for? A Sonic minus the drive through is a novel idea, and we're all for it. Besides, nothing can top a beachside location, especially in summer with your own customizable slush in hand. With exclusive features to the menu of Sonic Beach like Carolina pulled pork sandwich, Philly cheesesteaks, popcorn shrimp, popcorn chicken, and island sorbets, there's a variety of choices that can be indulged in. Ice aficionados get their fill at Sonic. One would never think of ice being popular at a food chain. Well, that is exactly the case when it comes to Sonic's Nugget Ice. The small, soft chunks of ice are a big thing for those who visit the chain. It has its own fan following. The holy matrimony between frozen water and air makes this ice a reality. The soft, chewable ice adds to the flavor of the drink and can be purchased from a Sonic in the $2 to $5 price range. The ice acts as a leftover snack once you finish your drink. Ain't that cool? No wonder some customers drop by a Sonic and Yes, sometimes car hops do come to deliver you just that. Thanks to their popularity and cult following, now you can get your own ice maker. A contraption called the Opal Nugget Ice Maker is available for $499, and it does exactly what it claims. Now you can mix in with the ice your favorite drink at home and see what all the fuss is about. Saves you the trip to a Sonic if it's not in your neighborhood. Yep. Yeep. Yeep. Sonic on the digital highway. Smuggle tape. Hey, you be careful with that. Sonic is old school, only in ambiance. Like other chains, it too is trying to make itself more accessible for its customers. With the Sonic Drive-In app, people can now order through their mobile phones. It's not an uncommon practice anymore as restaurants are trying to find ways and means for customers to order faster and ahead of time. Also, the menu of the app imitates the one at the chains. It's getting pretty popular, and the app has plans in the future to track customer data, money spent, and customer preferences. It adds to the convenience, and the information gathered by the app will make Sonic much more tailored for the individual consumer. That's right. The goal of the brand is to win market share in the communities it serves and also become more prominent. Some of the features of the app include finding the nearest Sonic drive-in locations and their hours of operation, monthly rewards, sending and getting gift cards from family and friends with cool designs, and so on. The app also gives nutritional information, complete with special offers and promotions. Looking at how far the chain has come since its inception, encompassing more than 60 years, this seems like the next logical step for it, especially when smartphones have become so popular. Ordering food through an app is common practice for any small or big restaurant business, and it's time Sonic traversed on the digital wagon. The only thing now that the app can't accomplish is car hops speeding their way to you with your order, unless they start popping up on your phone screen in the distant future. Who knows? For now, we'll have to make do with the free medium slush you get if you download it for iOS or Android. Don't zoom off to your nearest Sonic just yet. Hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. And stick around. We have way more cool videos for you to watch. All you have to do is click.